Hello, my fire signs. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. This is a reading that is timeless, so um, it doesn't really matter when you tune in. If you're able to resonate with the messages, that's fantastic. And um, just to mention, I am recording this on the 10th of September, however, and the current lunar phase is a waxing gibbous moon. And so that taps into growth and learning from a situation as well as healing and transformation. So we'll see how that plays itself out for this reading. All right, guys, if you are interested in a personal private reading from me, all of that information is down below in the description box. I will also have a list of all of the card decks that I typically use for my readings. This is general as always, guys, so it's not going to resonate with every single fire sign out there. So please do take from it whatever makes sense for you and release the rest. All right, guys, so this is for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. I don't have any particular agenda for this reading. You know, whatever the cards feel it needs to communicate at this time, we'll take it, all right? So starting off with focus messages from, this is the second deck that I own. This is brand new, actually, it just came from Germany. It's another deck called Lover's Oracle. So you guys might actually be quite familiar with my other card that I use quite a lot, which is also called Lover's Oracle, and those are the ones that are heart-shaped. Okay, so as I mentioned, these are from Germany. This, this is a brand new deck for me. So let's go ahead and incorporate the messages into your focus messages for this reading. All right, guys, so let's take a look at that. So angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What messages need to come through at this time? Let me go ahead and fan it out. And let's choose one. This card reads, within you, I lose myself. Without you, I find myself. Then I strive to be lost again. That's a very interesting message coming through for some of you guys, okay? So let's see how the energies of that particular message come through for this reading. I also wanted to grab an additional focus message from the healing messages deck. So angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Let's grab one more focus card for this reading and see how it plays itself out here. We do have Archangel Michael blessing this reading for you guys, so that's beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with messages from my Mystic Moon Oracles deck. Let's take a look and see what the angels feel you need to know at this time, guys. I'm just going to allow the cards to communicate whatever messages need to come through here at this time. So angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, please bring it forward at this time. Let's take a look and see what messages you would benefit most from at this time. We do have the Divine Feminine being represented in this reading already, okay? So if you happen to be Divine Feminine tuning in, it's tapping into your own energy and I do feel that there might be a lot going on in your life at the moment, and so your energies are coming forward to be represented here. Oh, wow. We now have a Twin Flame card coming through. So for some of my Divine Feminines, I do feel that this person you're thinking about for this reading, you feel is your Twin Flame. If you were not sure before, it's confirming that you might very well be in a Twin Flame connection, or you already know this, okay? What else, please, for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, for my fire signs, please? Angels and spirit guides, what else do we need to know in regards to this twin flame connection? It's ascending. It's moving forward. So if you guys were going through some challenges before, and if you are in separation from this person, there is the opportunity to ascend this relationship forward away from whatever challenges you guys had gone through in the past or are currently going through. Interestingly enough, look at the card right after that. We do have a third party that is being indicated here. 
So some of you guys are in separation as a result of a third party, or this is something that's going on now. We do have the spring card coming through here. So this is tapping, of course, into the spring season, which would be falling into next year, springtime of next year. So there is time involved here, guys, to be able to ascend this relationship out of the challenging energies that it's currently going through. But there is growth that is coming through from the energies of this spring card. So if it doesn't feel like that right now, it's got some highs and lows to go through still, but I do see that eventually there is growth here. You are being blessed by Archangel Michael's energy. And going back to that focus card, within you, I lose myself. Without you, I find myself. Then I, then I strive to be lost again. I do feel that this is how you're able to resonate with your twin flame, you know, that they complete you, they make you feel whole, and you feel lost when they are not with you. The card after spring, look at that, we do have mirroring, which does tap into the energies of that twin flame connection, followed by the divine masculine. So at this time, guys, what I'm feeling here, you know, look at all these cards between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So there's a journey that this is on at the moment and it's got some growing pains that it is going through at this time but it's certainly tapping into the fact that you guys are connecting on that twin flame energy but there is a third party right smack dab in the middle that's what's keeping you guys apart at this time i feel and third parties it doesn't have to necessarily be a person. Sometimes a third party could be representative of something else that's going on in that person's life that's just keeping them away from you. It could be something as simple as they're too focused on work and they just don't have enough time to dedicate towards the relationship. But of course, for some of you guys, this does indicate infidelity, cheating, and a third party in your relationship, okay? All right, let's move on to some tarot, guys. So angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius for my fire signs. What else needs to come through here at this time? And again, guys, it's a timeless reading whenever you're guided to tune in to this reading. And if you resonate with the messages, then it's meant for you at that time. Let's see what else. What else needs to come through here? Okay, well, we do have the light card. That is coming up reverse, though. The light card is the sun. In the reverse, it's bringing forward negativity, depression, and sadness. So it, it makes sense, especially if you guys are in separation. You're separated from your twin flame, somebody that you feel is your twin flame, because there's a third party that's keeping you guys away from each other or created all of this tension and distance between you and this person that you have so much love for. What else, please? For Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. But as I mentioned, guys, you know, the third party, it's between ascending and spring. So I feel that this third party situation, it's temporary, that you guys will make it through this challenging time in your relationship. There is growth here, early part of next year. So, and I know that that's a long time away, but that's what's coming through here. It might take some time for things to shift and get out of that energy of dealing with this third party. I've got a bunch of cards flying out. Hold on. Let me grab those. Okay. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. I do feel that that's wanting to come up reversed as well. Okay, so for some of my fire signs, this is Earth energy. So you might be thinking about a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. In the reverse, however, Eight of Pentacles, there's no passion. 
somebody who's uninspired, somebody who has no motivation. Okay, so if this is tapping into somebody that you're thinking about, guys, they've lost motivation because more than likely they know they messed up and they're not with you. There is no movement forward at this time. You guys are in separation. Okay. They're feeling uninspired at the moment because life has been a little bit challenging here. And look at the other cards that flew out. These were the ones that flew out. Okay, we do have the three of swords, heartache and loss here. Somebody is dealing with a broken heart as a result of the separation. I do feel lack of communication here between you and your person. But going back to that lunar phase energy, there is healing that is needed here. There is growth that is going to eventually come into the situation and it's going through a transformation period at this time we do have the six of cups and we also have the two of swords part of the energy of that six of cups this card does read memories of love so somebody feeling very nostalgic about their person whether that's my divine feminine or the divine masculine. It doesn't really matter who is reminiscing and remembering the good times, missing their person as a result of the separation and distance. You guys are not together at this time. Okay, that is what I'm tapping into here for this particular reading. There is more than likely a twin flame that you are in separation from as a result of this third party. Somebody's heartbroken somebody's feeling nostalgic about their twin flame somebody's depressed somebody's very sad part of the energy of this two of swords is there is a choice that needs to be made in a relationship but there's that element of stalemate energy unable to move, unable to make a decision, not knowing what to do possibly, still healing, t still transforming because of all the pain that you guys possibly had to endure in this connection, the relationship because of this third party. Let's grab one more. One more message for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, please angels and spirit guides let's grab one more one more card please okay two more we do have nine of pentacles and we also have the balance card let me move these guys over so i have a little bit more room here so with that nine of pentacles energy that is material harvest Part of the energy of the balance card is tapping into the justice card in traditional tarot. The truth finally coming out. Look at this bottom card. We do have triumph. That is the chariot. So, oh wow, the card after that, I gotta pull that. That's the two of cups, okay? So I do feel eventually, guys, it will eventually manifest towards you guys working things out. There does have to be balance that's regained in this connection. Right now, somebody's at a stalemate, or you both might be where you're just really not sure the direction that you want to take this or how to go about manifesting a reunion of sorts here, a reconciliation, because somebody is heartbroken. Somebody is in the space of that Three of Swords energy, heartache and loss, it's very painful. Financially, though, for some of you guys, things might be actually improving, you know, so love life going through challenges, job career, that's actually going pretty good. Some of you guys may have started a new job or gotten a raise or a promotion or found a job if you were previously unemployed. That's part of the energy of that nine of pentacles. Once again, tapping into earth energy for some of you guys, Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. 
And this is being grateful for the quote unquote luxuries of life. You know, we all perceive our luxuries to be different from what the other person perceives luxuries to be. So whatever it is that you treasure in your life materially, you know, I do feel that you appreciate it, you work hard for it, and you are reaping the rewards of it. Okay, now part of the energies of that balance card is justice, as I had indicated, that is tapping into Libra energy typically, but it could also include the other air signs, Aquarius and Gemini, okay? So with balance, that's bringing forward honesty and fairness and the truth, tapping into one's integrity. And I do feel that that was lacking before, that when this third party came to the surface, there was a lot of dishonesty, there was manipulation, there was deception. The balance card is allowing you to see both sides of a situation now. Or it's simply letting you know, guys, that there's a need for balance and harmony in a situation. There are adjustments that are needed here in order for you guys to welcome in a reconciliation with your twin flame. If that's what you're wanting, you have to make a decision. You know, you can't be in this stalemate energy. You need to make a decision in order for this to ascend, to move forward. And I do feel that that's going to take some time. That's a part of the growth and transformation process and possibly springtime of next year is when this growth is eventually going to happen. So it's a slow process, but I do feel eventually once whoever is in this stalemate energy, that two of swords energy of mental conflict, once that has been released and healed, things are eventually going to start moving rather quickly and that's part of the energy of the chariot right here fast movement in order to bring you guys back into union with each other you guys are spiritually connected you know you're coming through as twin flames in this reading of course some of you guys identify more with a soulmate connection but we definitely have two cards coming through indicating a twin flame connection here And I do love that part of this balance card, this justice card, is that your problems will resolve. You got to take responsibility, of course, for whatever role you might have played in this third party situation, if you are resonating with that. But there is healing that comes from that, you know. So there's hope here. There is movement. There is hope that is possible. In this connection spiritually connected whether you identify with a twin flame connection whether you identify with a soulmate connection it doesn't matter what i do see here is two people that will have the opportunity to work on the partnership once again once healing has occurred once a transformation beyond the hardships caused by a third party or whatever hardships you guys had dealt with in your relationship. And once this three of swords energy has been healed from heartache and loss from the separation. Okay. All right, guys. So let's add to this with some romance angels. Let's see what else needs to come through for you. My fire signs. So angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, please. What else do we need to know here? What else do we need to know? For Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Please bring it forward for me. Some of you guys are dealing with codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Somebody might have a drinking problem. Somebody might be doing drugs or exuding some sort of codependency towards something or someone. If part of that codependency was tied into this third party, that's very challenging and something that you guys might have dealt with. Okay, let's see what else. 
What else, please? Angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So it's just a matter of time, guys, before this coming together, this reconciliation and reconnection for you and your soulmate and or twin flame occurs. It's just a matter of time, but you got to have patience to see that through. Okay, so let's add to this, guys. I want to pull from... Actually, okay. Let's grab some Twin Flame messages from the Volume 2 deck by Angela from Mystic Moon. Let's start a conversation going here. I just did a reading for my air signs and I had another one of my lovely choking attacks because I find that when there is a blockage with that throat chakra, it affects me. It affects my throat. I get that tickly throat feeling or I just have a full-on coughing attack. It's happened so many times so many times that it's just too uncanny at this point at first i thought you know maybe my throat's dry or you know i wasn't even sick like no so i'm just finally accepting it and knowing that i'm just very sensitive to this portion of the reading when somebody's either unable to speak up or there's a throat chakra blockage so hopefully there isn't one here so whoever it is that you're thinking about, guys, let's see what words, thoughts, feelings, emotions need to come through here. You could certainly also resonate with some of these messages if this is how you're feeling. So take it for however way it makes sense for your situation, okay? I'm I was reminded of your scent recently. So whoever it is that you're thinking about, guys, this person... Um, reminisces about you you know we, we do have that six of cups memories of love they are reminded of your scent perhaps you have a particular perfume or cologne whatever the case may be a particular scent that is associated to you and whenever they catch a whiff of that even though you guys are in separation it brings them instantly right back to thinking about you memories of love look at this bottom card here guys would you give me the chance to make things right between us? So the question is, guys, would you? Would you be willing to give this person who hurt you so deeply to put you into this Three of Swords energy and that stalemate energy from that Two of Swords? Both difficult energies. We do have a reversed Sun card here. Somebody who's very depressed and sad over what happened between the two of you, there's a lot of pain that you guys had endured in this connection to go into separation. It was not easy. So they want to know, would you give me the chance to make things right between us? All right. I want to grab some more messages from the Unspoken Messages Volume 2 Deck by Fire Witch Tarot because I feel there's more that needs to be expressed here. So angels and spirit guides for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, what else needs to be expressed here, please? Who else needs to speak up? Who else needs to speak up here? What does your person need to tell you? What else do they have to say? Don't mistake divine timing with ego's timing. So true. You know, whatever is going to happen here is going to take its time. It's going to happen when it's meant to happen. Archangel Michael is blessing this whole situation. Okay, so you need to release your ego and allow life to just unfold the way it's meant to in regard to the situation here. And look at this bottom card here, guys. I hope you can make that out. This card reads, I'm going through... A painful transformation I feel possibly you both are you're both going through a particular transformation so that you can heal so that you can truly transform where you're at currently so that you guys can both ascend and grow and welcome in the opportunity to reconnect when it's time 
and that's the key there when it's time because this process guys it cannot be rushed it can't be rushed it's going to happen when it's meant to happen but i do feel once you guys heal your broken heart once this stalemate energy has been eliminated you know then my divine feminine and my divine masculine will be given the opportunity to come back together i do see that but right now you guys are in separation there's a lot standing between the two of you that's getting in the way of you guys coming together but i do feel it's eventually going to happen okay all right guys so let's add to this with some infinity oracle from fire witch tarot angels and spirit guides for my fire signs leo aries and sagittarius what else do we need to know at this time and just a reminder guys this is a timeless reading so whenever you're guided to tune in and watch for leo aries and sagittarius angels and spirit guides please bring it forward what else do we need to know at this time what else do we need to know please at this time what do we have stressed yeah somebody who's depressed and sad is certainly not happy you know you guys are in separation so of course you're stressed interestingly enough we do have festivities this reminds me of the holiday season so as i had indicated we do have growth that's happening in this situation with your twin flame towards springtime of next year but i do feel the holidays might have something coming in for you as well in regard to this connection oh my god you guys look at the next two cards here this one says in your arms and the other one is true love it's just a matter of time i feel before you guys are back in each other's arms because at the end of the day you guys are twin flames you guys belong in each other's lives and this is someone that you consider to be your true love for some of you guys you identify more with a soulmate connection beautiful my gosh whoa and look at the bottom card here guys do you see this this is the bottom of the deck meant to be you guys are meant to be okay it may not seem like it right now because it's still growing it's still going through its transformation you guys still need to heal because there's somebody who is heartbroken over what happened there is still healing that is needed here but man you guys still have a lot of love for each other you know six of cups you're feeling very nostalgic about this person that you're in separation from feeling that they are your twin flame and or soulmate you're calling them in still okay you're calling them into your vibrations your energies still very much a part of your energy all right so let's add to this guys with some signs from spirit love oracle by mystic moon oh wow in your arms true love meant to be twin flames spiritual connection unbelievable all right what else please angels and spirit guides for my fire signs leo aries and sagittarius what else do we need to know at this time for my fire signs please you know what guys i was just looking at this card hold up i totally missed that word on the bottom look it says in your arms and then the word closure down below so some of you guys might need closure that you haven't had in a long time okay so part of that closure will bring about healing and transformation that will allow you guys to 
be given a second chance, possibly close one chapter and start over and have a new beginning. What else, please? I love it. I love that. Look, we have a rainbow and we have renewal. I love it. So I really feel, guys, that you will be given a second chance in this love connection here. You've got a rainbow right there. That's awesome. So I feel really once healing has occurred here and a transformation has occurred, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. It may not seem like it right now because it's going to take time, but it is going to improve and get better. I do feel that. All right. So let's add to this, guys, with some Lover's Oracle. Angels and Spirit Guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What else do we need to know in regards to this love connection? This is ultimately turning out to be a beautiful reading, guys. Even though you had to go through hell and back in this separation and distance between you and your person. Let me grab this bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. I'm grabbing the next. Okay, hold on. So this flew out. This was the bottom card. This was the card right after that. And this is the card right after that one. Look at this. Okay, so this says, this one says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some alone time. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. It's so true. That is a part of the energies of transformation and growth. The card after that says, my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. So for those of you guys who feel that you're spiritually connected to this person, which I really do feel that you are, energetically, you still feel their presence, okay? And now we've got twin flames and soulmates both coming through here. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Both of these cards are coming through here, being represented in this reading. That's so amazing. I love that. All right, let's move on to some angel answers. If you have a particular question in mind, focus on that and ask your question. You certainly don't have to resonate with each and every angel answer that comes through here. So take it for however way it makes sense for you. And if you don't have a question, that's okay. We'll just allow the cards to communicate whatever needs to come through at this time. Please bring it forward. Oh my gosh. Look at this. We have romance. Look at the bottom card. We have weight. Unbelievable. So it's just a matter of time, guys, before romance comes back into your life in regard to this love connection with either your twin flame or your soulmate. Unbelievable. All right, guys, so let's close out your reading with some guardian angel messages. I want to pull one for Leo. Okay, let's grab one for you, Aries. And let me grab one for Sagittarius. All right. What do we have here? So for Leo, you ended up getting gratitude. Thank you. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped in some way. I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity, and those around you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are eternally blessed. May peace, grace, and love forever guide you along your sacred path. That is a beautiful message, Leo. Now for Aries, beautiful. You ended up getting manifestation. Believe in yourself, trust your instincts, and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. I mean, come on. That is such a great message, Aries. 
And finally, Sagittarius, you have opportunity coming in for you. This card reads, wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There is nothing to regret. All is always in perfect and divine order. Everything that you've ever experienced has helped you in some way. The past is behind you. The path ahead is clear. Move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desire. Absolutely, guys. My gosh. This was an amazing reading, okay? It may not have started off that way, especially with that third party, but look at how it unfolded, okay? So I do feel that you will be with your person once again. Have patience, give it some time. It's not gonna be a fast process right now. I do see things eventually shifting towards either, realistically, either the latter half of this year or more likely springtime which is that time frame that you've been given there. Okay, guys, so have patience. Ultimately, I do feel that you will be incredibly happy with how this whole storyline unfolds with either your twin flame or your soulmate. All right, guys, so that's all I've got for now. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like a personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. I'll be back very soon with more readings for you guys. All right, so take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.